name reveal for this little girl right here that you guys saw in another video. Me opening her. So, I have come up with a beautiful name for her that I think fits her very well. And her name is going to be Mary Bethany. Now, I'm going to tell you where I got this name and why I chose it. So, Mary Bethany, Mary of Bethany in the Bible is a story. Well, there's a few stories about her. Um, she was sister to Martha and Lazarus. Lazarus is the man that Jesus loved. Uh, one of the men that Jesus loved and he also loved Mary and Martha, his sisters. And when he died, Jesus went, after he had been dead for four days in the tomb, Jesus rose him, resurrected him from the dead. And um, Martha and Mary were his sisters. Now, um, one of the stories about Mary is, while hosting him at their home, um, he commended Mary for choosing the better by sitting at his feet instead of being swayed by housework and hosting duties. When we, fo when we focus on Christ, he becomes our greatest passion and our tendency for self-absorption dims and fades. So, also, he, she um, anointed his feet with perfumed oil just days before his crucifixion, and she wiped it with her hair. And... If you guys know the story, uh, you guys should look it up. Um, but if you know the story, um, Judas actually spoke up and asked her why she did that, kind of chastising her for it. Um, when it's expensive oil and she could have sold it and put the money for the poor because he was a thief and he wanted to probably steal part of that profit. But uh, Mary didn't say anything. She let Jesus defend her. And he did. So... Um, I think there's a lot we can learn from that, and I think um, there's a lot we can learn from Mary herself in her um, faith in Jesus. How often do we miss God's word and spiritual truths because we are self-focused and overly concerned about our earthly priorities, or even negatives and worries? Like I was, I have um, had to learn, and I'm still learning how to be. Not focus on negative stuff, not foc not putting earthly stuff as my priorities only, but to learn God's word. We can learn from Mary in the in her conviction in Jesus, so much so that she is not compelled to defend herself in the face of criticism. How often how often do we jump at the chance to justify ourselves in the eyes of others who criticize and mock us? And particularly, particularly where our faith is concerned. But if we make listening to God our priority, and we will have um, complete faith in his plan for our life. So we don't need to jump in at every chance when someone's criticizing us or mocking us to defend ourselves. And I, I was always like that. And I'm trying, I'm trying to learn not to do stuff like that, not to, to let God defend me. Um, and... Auntie Shana said something to me when we were conversating about stuff one day, and she said, I let God fight my battles. And that really stuck to me because um, it just makes so much sense. And so I, I she's a really, really awesome lady. Go check out her channel. She's Auntie Shana's Life Little Moments. But she said that, and I know she has um, the Destiny doll too, so I thought that, that would per be perfect to name her Mary Bethany. And so here is little Mary Bethany. And I hope what I said made sense to some of you. If it didn't, that's okay. But I just wanted to share why I named her that. And so I hope you guys all love this baby as much as I do. And um, God bless everyone. Bye.